This is a short video to explain how I built a shingle crane uh, for moving residential roof shingles onto the top of a small ranch house. I was faced with a 30 square double tear off and I was interested to find a way to move the shingles to the top of the roof by myself and I looked on YouTube and saw quite a few different versions of shingle lifts that use ladders and gravity uh, that sort of thing but the problem I saw with th that type of a lift was that you ended up having the shingles on the eve of the house where they had to be carried up to the peak in order to do the tear off or work on the roof um, I did the whole house as a top-down shingle so I didn't have to do the whole thing at one time I just did a section you know whatever I could tear off in a day and put back in a day that's what I did so this came in really handy I don't think I would have been able to do the job if I did not have this crane so here's how I made it I started out with uh, a 4 by 6 pressure treated 12 foot long and I tapered it I don't know if you can pick it up on the video it starts out you know full full length width I'm sorry full width and height up to the center point where the post is going to be and then I tapered it down to I don't know reduced it to maybe three by three at the end just to reduce some of the weight because I, I wasn't sure when I built this how cumbersome it was going to be and it turned out to work out pretty good so it's a little lighter at the end and basically I have a, a short piece of pipe on the end where I stack counterweights which you'll see in the video of the crane in operation uh, half inch pipe with a floor flange nothing fancy the the winch is a I'm not sure I forget what the duty rating is 400 pound I can read it on the top so it, it can easily lift a bundle of shingles and that has a up and down hand control so very easy to use very simple it's got a weighted end that keeps a little bit of pressure on the cable when there's nothing on it for the center post for the bearing point I'm going to tip this up I used an old cut off from a pipe column you know I'm the kind of guy like I'm sure a lot of guys that watch YouTube videos and work around construction save little bits and pieces in the off chance that someday you can find a home for them so this found a home in the bottom of my crane and I had to bush it out a little bit with I used PVC pipe and some sheet metal to fit the column that I was going to use which is a piece of I'm pretty sure it's schedule 40 galvanized pipe and it's a fairly heavy piece of pipe and that that was one of those things again that was salvaged from a job it was a, a vent stack I believe that I cut off and stuck in the backyard and and used it for this project the center support post for the cabling that I have here is a piece of three-quarter inch pipe with a floor flange and a T at the top and the cable runs from the back up over and down to the front and just drilled it through and used some used the turnbuckle in order to put the tension on it now this cable is very important because it it distributes the load back down to the center point of the column so when it's under load it's really not in a perfect world all of the weight is going to end up on the center column because of the way this cabling transfers the the load I'm not an engineer but I do have some practical engineering in 30 years of design and construction so most of this stuff is available if you if you google it you can find a lot of information about how far these points need to be from one to the other in order to 
counterbalance, say, a bundle of shingle weighs 80 pounds at the end. So it's good. there's tables that will tell you, based on the distance between the center point and either end, how much counterweight you need in order to have an, the crane balance neutrally. So the problem that you run into with that is when the crane is under load, you could have the exact amount on this piece here that would make the crane swing very freely and with little effort at all. The only problem with that is when you offload the bundle of shingles, now you're loaded heavily on this end and it makes the shingle, or the crane rather, a little bit difficult to swing around because all the weight is on the end. Now what I found was this, this short socket here goes on top of the pipe column and when you swing the crane, even though this is, was greased, it went to the path of least resistance, which was a 2x10 that I had down on that floor of the attic. The center column pipe was cut through the roof at the ridge. And you can see it was actually turning the pipe itself and was boring a little slowly but surely was boring a hole in this 2x10. So if I would have offloaded about another thousand bundles of shingles, the, the pipe column would have eventually drilled through the through the board. But it wasn't really a problem. I was keeping my eye on it and it just, you know, it turned at the column rather than turning at the socket, which I had hoped that it was going to do. But that was not a major problem. It wasn't turned out to be just a minor issue. Okay, the, the front of the, the cabling comes from the winch and it just goes to the tip. And this I just made out of some brackets that were left over from a basketball backboard that I installed for my son that weren't used. And a short pulley that came with a come along. So I didn't have a whole lot of cash outlay in this project. It was mostly stuff that had been lying around and it worked out really well. Okay, this is the setup on the ground. I have the bundles of shingles that were delivered are, are on the other end of the house, so I have to bring them over to where I have the crane set up. And I'm using a big Rubbermaid wheel cart, and it works pretty well because I can put the shingles across the cart. And I have a small piece of strip of three quarter inch plywood underneath for support, which helps me get them over here also helps when I go to offload the shingles I can lift it up and get the sling out so that's how I get the shingles over to the spot where I have the crane up there there's the end of the crane sticking out this is my sling that I use for taking the bundles up I made it out of an old piece of uh, outside furniture webbing and just weaved a couple aircraft cables through the sides and put some u-bolts on the end so it makes it easy for me to put it around the shingles and latch the end of the hoist to pull the shingles up okay i have to sling around the bundles i'm gonna i have the end of the uh, lift hoist lift clipped on and I'm ready to go up top on the roof and pull up a bundle.